Okay. And, and do, you, uh, do you use assessments? Like, did you use assessments back then or do you use assessments right yeah. now? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, the authentic happiness assessments. And, oh, mainly. What, and um, what do you tell people? Do you, do you ask them to take them at home or when you're there? Or? Um, at home, usually. I, I, um, <laughs> I, well, on one of our first sessions, I'll ask them to go on and find what they're curious about to measure without me prescribing what it is that they need to measure. And, and leave it up to, and, and it's interesting, you know, who comes back doing what kind of assessments, but oh. then I'll ask them to take the VIA for sure, and I'll ask them to, um, I used to have them measure their optimism and that kind of stuff more than I had been doing recently. Right, right, right. And, and why do you ask them to take the VIA? Just to put a language around their strength. And, and to, to encourage them to, to think about them at their best. And, and, so, and how do you use it when, when they come back with the, the via results? In, in conversation about you know, them at their best and what that looks like and what kind, of, uh, you know, what kind of combinations of strengths do we hear in their stories or in their wins. And is this in groups also? Yeah. So, so can, can you give me an example of how you've done that? Um, in groups, um, you know, with, with families, I've done family trees of strengths. Uh, within business contexts, um, I do a, um, a plotting of strengths on an Excel spreadsheet to show, you know, everyone in the system and then what their top five strengths are, um, color-coded to see where the alignment is.